<laughs> Not all heroes are the same. Hello everybody and welcome back to The Terrible Show. I am your host, your main man, your Sancho. Terrible I be. So you may know that uh, I'm quite ahead in videos right now, but uh, I thought I'd record this one because well, I thought we released this one other than the ones that I recorded already because I, I, I just found it so interesting. But uh, anyway, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm going to talk about it anyway because I can, so fucking sue me. Music lovers out there, this should be interesting as well to you. So I uh, get this, a guy in Phoenix by the name of Nate Adams supposedly broke into a car window last week they're in triple digit temperatures in order to save get this records overheating in the back seat I mean you gotta admit this guy is pretty legit too legit to quit badass fucking beast a monster it, it, it continues to say here he noticed uh, neglectic neglectic Neglect, 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 the abused crate of vinyl <laughs> and a 2005 Suzuki Aereo I guess that's how you say it and um, knowing the dangers he took action quickly I mean this guy's a boss you're breaking into other people's cars to save a box of records you're a hero in my book sir but it says you know says here Adam Adam says it was like 100 degrees but I don't could get warped at like 80 degrees so there you go it will never sound the same again I knew I had to do something so I pick up a rock and threw it through the window and he continued to state that I was just doing what any other vinyl lover would do I'm not really sure if the guy was in the right mind to do this uh, in my opinion they're not his vinyls, I mean, that's basically kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? He's basically breaking and entering the car. Stealing, he's basically stealing stuff out of the backseat, in my opinion. Uh, would I save a box of vinyls in the backseat of a car? Maybe if, if I saw if there was a gem in there, maybe, maybe, but I'm not sure. But uh, it goes on to say here the crate which contain the crate which contained 17 vinyl records and 13 cassette tapes in all. Reportedly included albums by The Ramones, The Sex Pistols, Fugazi, were well, all I guess that's how you say it. Fu Fugazi. Bagazi? Bagazi? Fugazi? I don't know. They were all left to fend for themselves. Thanks to Adam's brave actions, the only casualty was a no doubt Tragic Kingdom CD without a jewel case. Makes me sick. If if you leave CDs out in the open, uh, I'm not sure we could be friends anymore. It says then Adam goes on to state, it makes me sick, you know. The fact there are people like that in the world with no regard for what's safe or what's right, it's a goddamn shame. The window can be replaced, but there were some original pressings in that crate. Some that could never be replaced. Unless he had a really good day on eBay. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what we're, well, he, he is kind of right in the sense, but mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. If they were yours, I'd have. I, if they were your. Pff, if they were your. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of kind of breaking the law, bro. You can't just break into people's cars and take shit out just to save it. I mean, if it was a kid or an animal of some sort, I would understand. Or if there was that one million dollar vinyl thing in there, or whatever, then it makes some sense. 
I don't know. Then it continues to say, bystanders report Adam stayed with the records until authorities arrived on the scene. He cradled them in his arms comfortably. He took each one out of its dust sleeve and expected it carefully for any warpings. Well, at least he cares, you know. He wanted to make sure everything was all right. I mean, this is... I'm not sure if I would feel the same way, though. Like, that's like saying I left my guitars in my vehicle just to maybe, like, run inside a store or something. And uh, I come back, there's some stranger caressing my guitars, you know, looking at every... I, first thing I'd be... First thing that would be said is be like, hey, the fuck are you doing? You know? Um, but it continues to say... <laughs> it continues to say the owner of the vehicle was quick to defend himself against accusations of neglect, it's abuse, blood, it's that word again. He came out of there and basically said, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> owner, of the, owner, of the, owner of the car said... The car wasn't even locked. I was only gone for two goddamn minutes. Claim. I'm not gonna say the owner's name, but uh, he claimed that and he said that. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. He goes on to say, people call this guy a hero. All I see is someone who fucked up my car and tried to steal my shit. Hey, we're in the same boat. You know, if I'm ever in the Phoenix area, I mean, we should. We should get together. Coffee. All that good stuff. And this this last part is a little too far fetched because I'm not sure. This, this, yeah, this part's I don't know. This is the cake. This this last part takes the cake. The records will remain will remain in the care of the state until the judge determines if so and so is responsible enough to own such a valuable collection. I mean it's his, he owns it. He has the right to keep it. Adam is hoping to become the legal caretaker for the music collection if the judge should rule against the person who owns the items. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's on the internet, so it must be true, right? It must be true. To me, the guy who broke into the car, taking the records out, it's, it's not a good look, man. It's not a good look. And to the guy with the vinyls, it's not a good look either. You guys are both fucked up in the head, you know. It, it's funny, it's amusing, it's entertainment for me. I don't know. You guys think the guy was in the right mind to save the records? People are dubbing him the vinyl hero. They're saying, not all heroes wear capes. If you're a vinyl lover, do you think this guy was in his right mind to save the collection? Or are you like me, who thinks he illegally broke into somebody's car and took a shit? You will never know. What do you guys think? I want to hear your answers. That's all the time I have today. Um, and as always, keep it real. Keep it rocking. Stay classy, friends.